Hey guys, Justin with Kayak Catfish out here on the Tennessee River today about to do some drifting. I just got out here and got set up. It is just a perfect fall day. It's about 70 degrees, a little bit overcast, no wind, and I've got good current. So I'm hoping we get on some fish today. Uh, right now I'm just going to be drifting a drop off. I don't have long to fish today. I've only got about three and a half hours or so. So I'm just going to fish a small section of this drop off. Hopefully make at least two passes down it, maybe three if I have time. But uh, I've got some fresh skipjack for bait. I've got those cut up in pieces here. I've got them suspended uh, about two feet off the bottom on all four rods. So uh, I'm just going to make my way down through here. Let's see if we can get on some fish. I believe he's on there. Oh, guys, we got... Here's this one. I got this other rod going down right here. All right, take a look at that one, buddy. Pretty good fish. <laughs> Been out here 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. Already got two fish in the kayak, so this perfect day just got a little better. <laughs> Let's let him go. All right, y'all, so y'all are always asking what I'm looking at on my graph. And this is basically it. It's a simple graph, not much on it. Got my depth here, water temp 71. I'm traveling at 0.5 miles an hour as I drift. This right here, this is a school of dinks. And as I'm drifting along here, I'm periodically coming across these. You can see in here, they're not real big. Here goes one of my rods. Oh, there goes that one too. I think that one's a little better, guys. I'm going to put that one back and grab this one. I think that one's a little bit bigger than the other one. I just kind of, yeah, I just kind of went through a school of them there. And, you know, I've had several people ask me to do a video on what I'm looking at on my graph. And like I've told you all before, I don't really use it for much other than just depth and speed. And really, when I'm drifting like this, I don't even really care about the speed because I'm just drifting with the current. The uh, speed really comes into play when I'm trolling. So I like to keep my, I like to keep it about a half mile an hour when I'm trolling. But, uh, you know, I don't really care about seeing fish on there. It doesn't, it doesn't change what I'm doing, whether I see them or not, because I know as I make my way down structure, I'm going to come across them. So they just travel up and down these brake lines and so... Now you know. Oh, here we go, buddy. Here we go. Got us a flathead on. Heck yeah. All right. Guys, look at that, buddy. That's a, that's a nice flathead right there. Just caught him suspend drifting, and we got one hitting that rod there, too. that yeah, buddy. I always love catching flatheads. They're always a fun surprise. Let's let him go. Boom! He's gone. <laughs> All right. Let's land this other one. All right y'all. There is one of those little dink blue cats that you saw on my fish finder there. So let's let him go and grab some of his friends. <laughs> Guys, we got one on right here. I believe this is another flathead. Yep, guys. I believe this one might be another flathead. He sure acted like it. You know, typically when you get a blue, they'll slam the bait and take off. And oftentimes with these flatheads, at least when you're suspend fishing, you'll just kind of see your rod tip just kind of bend over a little bit, and they'll just sit there with it. Well, here we go, buddy. Back to back flatheads. Oh, he come off! Dang! Oh, man! I was sitting there, sitting there screwing around with the camera, trying to get a good shot of him. He come off. Dang! He had some cool markings on him too. I'd like to get a picture of him. Oh well. We got us one pecking here. Yep, I believe he's on there. 
<laughs> All right, another little bait stealer. I'll tell you what, these things, they'll clean you out of bait, but you got to admire their persistence. I mean, the bait I was using, I mean, look how small his mouth is. He couldn't fit my bait in there, but they just keep pecking and gnawing and pecking and gnawing. They'll eventually get it. Let's let him go get bigger. We've got one on right here, guys. Another little one. <laughs> Let's let him go. Let's see if he's on there. Yep, he's on there. These fish better start biting fast because I ain't got much time left out here. Oh, buddy, this is a whopper. This is a whopper. That beast right there, buddy. <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Alright y'all, it's unfortunately that time for me to close out this video. I had a fun afternoon out here. I mean, I could not have asked for better kayak fishing conditions than what I got today. I had no wind at all today. I've had good current flow out here, warm, comfortable temperatures, and best of all, I've maybe seen three boats out here all afternoon. It's been a good day. I mean, it's a, it's a Jekyll and Hyde situation out here, weekdays to weekend. You come out here on the weekend, there's boats everywhere. Pleasure boats, jet skis, bass boats. Today's Thursday. You get out here today, nothing. I mean, it's been a good day. But, uh, you know, uh, guys, I tell you, I, I tried to do some filming today on my fish finder, and I don't know how well it's going to show up. I hope it does, because I get so many emails and, and messages with you all asking me what am I looking at on the screen and guys I'm really uh, I'm not looking at anything on here other than really just the depth when I'm drifting because as it changes I want to be able to adjust my baits up and down accordingly beyond that I don't care uh, it's a little bit different when I'm trolling when I'm trolling I want to look at the speed because I like to keep my speed 0 0.3 0 0.5 miles per hour but as far as watching this screen looking for fish it doesn't matter to me if I see fish on there or not. It's not going to change my approach. I'm going to spend my time putting my baits on good structure. If fish show up on there, great. But it's not going to change how my, I'm approaching things. It's not going to change how I do things. So uh, I, I just, so many people put all their faith in this little screen. They drive around their boats out here, constantly looking at that screen. Same thing in the kayaks. These things are a tool. They're a tool to help you catch fish a little easier but they are not the end-all be-all so please please don't put all your stock in that learn how to read a lake map learn how to read the contours and learn where fish are going to be at on those structures that's going to help you catch fish more than anything so you know I, I hope you enjoyed today's video I sure had a heck of a lot of fun making it I hope you learned something from it if you did enjoy it please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button that helps me out a lot get the moved on up in the in the search rankings there on YouTube so uh, hope you liked it again guys but anyway I'm gonna get on out of here thanks for watching